Welcome back to Panasonic Live at ISE 2016. I'm delighted to be joined by Jan Marcus. Jan, who's the Director of Visual Solutions uh, for Panasonic in Europe. Jan, what are your thoughts on the show? Good morning, Michael. Uh, I think so far, especially the very first day, is always important for us. We met uh, many of our partners, uh, many customers came to our booth, and I think they're enjoying so far what we have prepared for them this year. Yeah, and um, in terms of trends at the show this year, what are you seeing? I think the uh, the major uh, observation is that this uh, fair this time is less product centric. We used to have a, a more product centric uh, focus last year, specifically 4K was one of the dominant topics last year. But I think this year it is more around applications, it's more about solutions. Uh, actually what we try to reflect on in our booth as well, yeah. And in terms of laser, there seems to be quite a lot of laser projectors here too. Do, do you think there's a danger that the shift to laser could actually shrink the market in terms of consumables and the likes? I think, Michael, that's a very good, good question. Uh, obviously, Panasonic is one of the pioneers in laser technology, and important to say is, of course, what we're showing here on our booth is all our own technology, specifically the new high-brightness laser projector, uh, more than 20,000 lumen. But I think laser projectors give us access to new applications uh, to solve solutions of our customers, especially where a maintenance-free concept is uh, mandatory. And I think, frankly speaking, this will give us more opportunities than challenges, I think, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and is there a, a sense that, you know, we, we should be looking at exactly what the client wants, specifying exactly what the client wants, be it lamp or be it laser, and, and, and not just driving one? Forward? Absolutely, absolutely, Michael. I think this is a, a very good point because at the end, of course, it's not only about laser or lamp-based, both technologies have advantages. Uh, obviously, Panasonic is offering both technologies, and I think that is really important to solve the customer's problem, yeah. We've talked a lot about projectors, but what about displays? Obviously, Panasonic came out of the plasma market. Are we starting to see a, a, a real gain of momentum there? We, we, we do, actually, we do. I mean, as you said, it was quite difficult, of course, the, the switch from plasma to LCD, but it, even if what you can see at our booth at the moment is, we put really a focus on our flat panels, uh, uh, whether it's here at our highlight corner, with the robot uh, application, but they're specifically in the case of flat panel, I think not only the product is in the center, it is also the application. And one of the new applications we show is Light ID. Uh, and that concept, of course, will, I think, revolutionize the digital signage market. And for that reason, I think it is more about the solution, more about the application than only the product, yeah. Yeah, we saw that yesterday on, on Panasonic Live at ISE, the, the Light ID application. It, it's, it's very, very exciting. Uh, what challenges do you think are facing the industry at, at this time? Well, of course, there are issues with uh, spending in the public sector. Of course, that I, I see that as a big threat. But on the other hand, of course, uh, I think new forms of entertainment are being created with these new technologies available. And I think that gives us all a good reason to believe that the future is rather bright than foggy. Great. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your insight you on much. Panasonic Live at ISC. Don't forget to join us at 5 p.m. CET when we'll be showing uh, off our products that go beyond just visual solutions uh, and into broadcast too.